So you you are currently in devil vibration <clears throat> because you may be dealing with an addiction or an attachment to something. It could be a mindset that you are stuck in right now, and this could have something to do with your up <clears throat> with your upbringing, your family, your roots. It also has to do with your vision, your destiny. You could be wondering why your vision is not manifesting currently and that is the reason why you feel like you're in that devilish vibration here. Okay, it's I feel like it's mostly a mindset. No, I feel like this came from it could be other people. I feel like people that were admi um, admired you, were attracted to you, looked up to you. These people could be younger than you or just of a younger vibration when it comes to evolution and your mindset. Especially dealing with love and consciousness, awareness, self-awareness. These people weren't, aren't very self-aware. When they look at you being self-aware, they kind of uphold you. They keep try to keep you in a box as daughter, sister, granddaughter, whatever. So they hold you to certain expectations. So this affects your destiny because it is hard for you to break away because of your loving heart as the queen of cups. You don't want to disappoint. So it's almost like these people represented with the jack of wands. If you should do something, for example, outside of their expectation, it gets to them because it makes them feel like they have lost whatever grounding or attachment they had to you, which was what I was saying is keeping you in that devil vibration. Their attachment to how they perceive you and their expectation of a role for you to play, even though they look up to you, all right, it's keeping you in the box because you don't, you don't want to maybe disappoint or hurt just because of their mindset. No, because you are giving in to their mindset, it is also becoming a mindset that you are perpetuating within your life. Therefore, it is keeping you stuck and away from your pursuing your own vision, your own destiny, trapped in the mind, so to speak. When are you going to know what to do, really? And these people have attached themselves to you like marriage, really, see? And it's a determination or an intended focus that they have, like I say, to hold you in that vibration above them but really in a box you know so it's like the minute you try to fly out of that cage they go but i thought you said you were you know and then you you go back into your little cage you know into the little box that they put you in that's that's anyway these people um they don't feel a similar vibration to source well-being you see, they feel disconnected from this energy, from the prosperity. But they can, they look at you and they see that some way, shape or form. So that's what they admire in you. So it's like they think you have more like value or wealth or richness or substance. Because they don't, they, they don't feel that in themselves. Now, this person, they don't really connect. They're very attractive too, you know. An, an attractive person. But they're not connecting to their own source feelings of well-being, their own vision. Okay, so when they see you moving toward your vision, it's admirable. But at the same time, it breeds jealousy and, and envy within their space. And that holds you back as well. It's almost like evil eye vibration. So even though these people are close to you, could be family. With the ten of cups, could be your mother. 
this will be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. That's how they that's how it is done. I feel like what you need to do now is to well, I feel like this is what you're doing. The card that comes out says sorry. The two of swords, you're about to disconnect because you're becoming aware of this cycle because it is a cycle. It is a cycle in your whole family dynamic that would have kept you down from becoming more, from dreaming bigger. Okay. All right. But you are different. So with the two of swords, it's my ninja energy. You're about to break free and to really start focusing on who you want to be, who you came here to be. You're going to break free away from mental captivity, from the restraints of others. And you're going to do so with love, especially love for yourself, an intimate connection of love with you. And what you, yes, precisely, this guide says you. And what it is you want, okay? I feel like you're going to go after your dreams. Over here, above the, t the devil energy, we have the ten of wands. That means I feel like you're moving away from the devil energy, okay? You're changing. I feel even your DNA is shifting and changing right now. You're becoming brand new as you switch up your focus. You're becoming more militant more supreme more dominant more focused more determined on where you need to be you're blocking certain thoughts energies that want to come into you for example if you choose to do something different step outside of the box or this cage you know and somebody may complain you know how to defend protect your energy your emotional energy now okay with the queen of swords you are now focusing on that vision that you always know you've always known you came here to pursue you're so much more it's this the queen of swords is the queen of cups but not but more firm more militant you've come back ready and you've prepared for what do you expect? The norm, the cycle, but you're not about to repeat the cycle. No way, look. You're about to stand up and defend yourself against these people down here. Like I said, it could be family, friends, mother, sister, whatever, father. Feminine energy here, really. You're not about to be stuck in the mind anymore with the Queen of Swords. You're focusing your vision outward. Look, you're, you're going towards your dream with the star energy. Your destiny. It's almost like you're restoring it. You're reclaiming it here as you climb higher and higher. Your destiny is actually the three of pentacles energy, which is sun vibration for me, which is material success and abundance. This also says grace, forgiveness, being forgiven, um, full expression, you want to express yourself fully, beautifully, radiantly, vibrantly, you know, be open and honest and be truthful, and you want to maybe give someone your divine attention, or receive divine attention, but that's all you want and you're moving toward, of, um, toward that. I feel like you're going to move on and really align with your destiny. For the five of cups, which is your outcome, we got the two of pentacles, which feels like that zing energy. You're going to align with the two of cups here, the two of destiny. You're going to start um, trusting yourself. You may be aligning with someone in a business connection, a particular person. Could be a, one of these jacks we saw. You may be dealing with three people or you're leaving three jacks behind. Um, three jacks, three people, 
three interests different signs earth water fire okay so this person is looking at three cups here leaving three cups behind there could be three energies like you're leaving certain emotional connections certain connections to materialistic things and a certain desires behind to really focus on your destiny your soulmate energy your twin flame vibration but when it comes to i don't know if it is love it could be honestly cancer it really could be love beautifully but it's i feel it's also um you are lining with that destiny energy which we saw in the ace of pentacles you're gonna really come to this uh, like make that transition turn around and go toward continue moving toward your dream um you're gonna be leaving behind like i say um connections that really matter to you but it's that time it's almost like it's the time in the movie where you make the decision and take the action now. It's the time in the movie where we see the person moving away from the past because they've already decided to go toward the future. All right, it's just like one last moment before you move toward what it is you really want. And so many new things are coming in for you as well after you make this physical and mental and emotional shift to stop reliving cycles of your family history and not get drugged down by the same belief patterns and so on and so forth, but to create your own vision, a new vision for yourself. Okay, so it may be hard to leave what you've been learning behind. But you have a vision for you it is calling you your destiny you know your north star vibration and you're gonna go on that search you could be putting yourself out there more being of service traveling relocating um but whatever putting in some work rebuilding recreating healing restoring um but at the end of the day i feel like it is all to fulfill a certain space within you where you feel like what you're doing is fulfilling and it makes sense to you and that is really what matters on this journey all right so i think that's all i have to share in this one much love to you upon your journey and i will see you in the next one right if the messages resonate with you do hit the like button share comment subscribe thank you so much for your show of support remember that you can be do have everything and anything in this world you desire because you're all and all is within you happy holidays much love to you bye take care